My name is Will Bins, and I'm on the base team. I've been on the base team since the beginning when we launched uh, Testnet in February of 2023. Smart Wallet is, in my opinion, uh, one of the next great big unlocks across the entire Web3 ecosystem. Um, how many people here have uh, tried to get their friend to use crypto? Like, just raise a hand, some family member. Okay, good, I'm glad everybody's in the right place. <laughs> um, so in that was you know, pretty much a little bit awkward, like, hey, you need to go over here, go install this uh, mobile app, go over, put this in your browser. Um, it's almost like trying to teach somebody how to turn on a computer for the first time. Um, so, we're going to talk about Smart Wallet because uh, that removes that whole situation from the equation. Um, so, before we do that though, there's a few people that are here that were with me yesterday. We did a hackathon and a happy hour. And um, so they already have this, but for base, we have a, a huge Discord community. We have a really big um, uh, channel on Farcaster that a lot of people are in. But we have a very small um, Telegram group for builders. And you all, uh, if you'd like to take a snap of this QR code, um, people that are watching this video, Anon, uh, this is how to get into the uh, private builders Telegram group. Um, essentially, like uh, base teams hanging out in there, our job in there is just really to try to enable you all, to help you all in any way building on base. So, um, definitely come hang out in that community. Uh, don't be a stranger. Like everybody is welcome in there to um, ask questions and also network and get help. So, all right, what are we going to talk about with Smart Wallet? We feel like it's the future of wallets. Um, we're going to talk about kind of a little bit high level how it works under the hood, um, and then also how you can build with it. So, um, diving right in. So. You've probably heard this, uh, many of you have uh, seen Jesse speak online. Um, essentially, like we want it to be as easy and as fast as possible to do things on chain. We're building an open system for everyone in the world. You may have heard we say basis for everyone. In order for that to be possible, we need a system that's just as easy as possible to enter for everyone. We want to enable a billion users to come on chain. And so when, you, uh, when I was asking like how many of you had a friend that you've tried to help you know, get some crypto, do something on chain, like that falls all across the spectrum. Like in my family, if I had a family member, these are people that don't understand any terms like that we take you know, totally um, for granted that we deal with every day, that we've internalized. Um, anytime when somebody has to ask those questions, it really creates kind of doubt, like an uncertainty, which um, makes it harder for them to really activate and leverage all the benefits that open and permissionless systems, specifically base, can enable people to do. So um, in that theme, like it's just way too hard to do things on chain. Uh, you have to go somewhere else to install some. I could, I could hear about like, you know, meme coins like on fire recently, like people want to go interact with them. Essentially, like new people to the ecosystem, first you got to go over there. Then when you go over there, you're installing this app. That's got its own UX. It's just awkward. Now you can come back over here. Um, I'm not going to read all these, but you all know how it is. Like um, even just going over to the far right side of the slide here, even when you have the wallet, oh, actually you can't do anything with your wallet. You're going to need to have a little bit of ETH. So now you need to go back over here. And it just takes, like, by this time, if we have a group of 100 people that are going through all these steps, people inevitably are going to fall off. So smart wallet. What we enable people to do is to be able to onboard without installing anything. We use a pass key. If you used a pass key on your device, installing, like, logging into Google on your iPhone, making it simple to just be able to do things on chain. In addition to that, we have this really cool thing called Magic Spin. So like if you have a Coinbase account, you install Smart Wallet, which by the way is self-custody. Only you're the one that can use it with your pass key. You can use your Coinbase balance to then be able to also interact on chain. And then in the future, we envision being able to add multiple signers, 
add things like social recovery. So if you've ever used something like Privy before where you might go to a website and using your email address, you can create a wallet just for that one website with smart wallet using your email across the entire ecosystem. So um, I think this pretty much speaks for itself, but essentially making it easy for people to move balances, not only on base, but to any network that's EVM compatible. Um, enabling multiple owners, that's especially important if you're running a business, having multiple signers, additional security, activating that for smart wallet as well. Um, and so um, we go from where we are today, which is essentially, oh, there's this really cool dApp. I want to use it. I was kind of talking through it. OK, go install this. Yeah, now you got your wallet. Now you need to go add funds to your wallet. OK, now you can come back to the dApp. To, I found this awesome dApp. I want to use it. OK, go for it. So um, let's dive in. We can do a little bit of a, uh, I think, kind of hands-on demo. What I feel like would be a really cool extension of this, which is already possible, is we've been looking at like scaffold ETH and scaffold base. You can already plug in smart wallet to that. So that would be a really cool thing that builders like yourselves could essentially do is just make it to where in all the stuff you've seen so far, you don't even have to go install a wallet. You connect directly from the local app that you've built. And I'm going to do an example of that using a similar framework that you all can do as well um, that will allow you with your phone, your computer, to be able to uh, set up a smart wallet and connect to it. So um, first off, I'm just going to kind of demo how it would work uh, if you wanted to just check it out for yourself. Um, right now, if you went to smart-wallet.xyz uh, on your phone, on your computer, Make sure you're in a private tab, and the reason uh, why I'm in a private tab is because uh, smart, smart wallet's not available like on mainnet yet, so I'm still using like Coinbase wallet, or maybe using MetaMask or another wallet. So you don't want that to uh, trigger when you connect, uh, hit the connect button. But um, essentially, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm in my incognito tab, so if you, if you have one, um, make sure that your extensions are disabled, but you can also do this on your phone if you go to uh, smart-wallet.xyz. I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. This is going to prompt me, uh, so if I already had one, I could certainly take that option, but um, really want to, what I want to illustrate right now is just how quick and easy this is. Um, if I wasn't talking, I'd already be done by now. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and just hit the uh, create a smart wallet button. I'm going to use my Chrome profile. Uh, it's going to ask me to create the key, which I will do right now. I'm going to use my fingerprint. It could also use a password, and it's done. So I can close this window. You can already see up in the top right of the screen, I now have an on-chain address, and I can go ahead and mint this NFT. So I'm doing this on my laptop. If any of you are using a mobile device, you could also be doing this on your phone. You haven't installed anything. You're just using the built-in hardware. When I click this, I'm going to be prompted. Another thing that's unique here is you're not even paying a transaction fee. This is sponsored by Base. Um, also, just uh, if you've been building on Sepolia lately, the uh, Sepolia fees are ridiculous. So. The, the, component, the main component to that network fee is actually coming from uh, L1 just because of uh, a lot of activity. But um, if this was on mainnet, we saw earlier today in one of the demos, I think it was like zero cents. Um, you as a builder with your own app can sponsor the gas so that when you acquire users, you can immediately onboard them, pay for their gas so that within seconds, they're able to interact with your app. And so, my transaction is complete. I'm going to go ahead and view it in my wallet. And over here, we can see it on Sepolia on Basecan. So there it is. I minted an NFT. I set up my smart wallet. Um, it took me longer to talk about smart wallet and how to do it than it actually did to do it. And so that, I feel like, is the most important takeaway of what we just saw, which is how easy it should be to do things on chain. If you want to use this QR code, you could also um, just type this in your computer. This is smartwallet.dev. This is our docs site. 
And what we're going to do right now is on that site, I'm going to go over into another tab. We can easily create our own local app that enables people to connect with Smart Wallet. So I'm going to use the uh, build on-chain template. So if you're following along, just go over here on the left under create a new app, click using build on-chain template. Um, you'll want to, is, is everybody, uh, anybody need a second to get into the terminal? All good? Cool? All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead now and go into a terminal session. Um, you can see where actually I was already uh, doing this before, so I'm going to go ahead and just start with a um, clean directory. I'm coming back now, and uh, we're just going to do quick copy pasta because I want you all just to see how easy it is to just create this locally so that you can edit it how you'd like for your own application. Um, for people that are really comfortable already doing this, this doc site is essentially going to have everything that you need to just integrate this into your existing application. So definitely check that out. Um, but let's go back into our terminal. So I'm just going to grab this right here. I'm going to create the uh, project. So we make this a little bit bigger so that it's easier to see on the projector. Um, can everybody see that okay? Let me zoom in maybe. Yeah, how about that? Is that better? Cool, you got it. All right, so I'm gonna paste that in. I'm gonna be prompted. Um, let's go ahead and call this uh, LFG. And I'm going to, uh, we have a couple of like templates. This um, CLI tool will enable you to do. This is also, be, this is also being extended into other templates. Um, we call it Build On-Chain Apps Toolkit. Uh, shorten, we call it Boat. Um, so I'm just going to choose Buy Me a Coffee. I'm going to just leave the default here. I'm just, I can also skip this over. But you can see where this is already customizable. You would also be able to customize this post creation, so no stress there. Um, but essentially, we're going to take a few moments to set this up. In the back end, we're setting, in the background, we're setting up uh, essentially a full stack app here that once we install the packages, I'm going to pull it up in Chrome. And similarly to how uh, you saw how I went to smart-wallet.xyz, we're going to have a similar site where you can connect a wallet and it's going to allow you to create a smart wallet. So, and like I said, you can um, enable your uh, own applications to do this as well. But this will kind of give you a uh, get on base environment to see how you can make this more portable to your own uh, use case. So, just bless you, waiting on this uh, download to happen here. And the sub module, go get another coffee. Any questions while I'm uh, waiting on this? Yeah, hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, one question is, uh, does it create a separate wallet for each app, or is it? No, so that's, that's a great question. It's actually across the entire uh, network, and it's multi-network in the sense that you have you know, your address, and um, you'll be able to use it to interact with any application without having to ever install it again. You can also, uh, you notice when I was setting up that wallet, there was an option to restore the uh, wallet as well. So you get a new device, computer. You can um, also set it up there as well. So, all right. No, nah, definitely not. No, because it's embedded in, well, in the sense that you could restore the uh, wallet to another device um, using that, but uh, you wouldn't be able to use two different wallets together uh, if you, if you, like it's going to have the same address oh, when you stop. If I have iPhone and I want to use the same wallet on, for example, Mac. Yeah, you can restore the wallet using, yeah, exactly. So you got it. Okay, so we're done. Next, everybody else, uh, did, were you all able to build locally? Cool, awesome. Um, next up, we're going to go and set up our environment variables in this web folder. Does everybody see that right there where we're setting up the project? So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to go drop back into my terminal. We can see where I have the LFG folder. 
I'm going to step into web. And here's where I'm going to want to create that env. I'm going to just simply paste it right here. Is everybody following along and able to do that? All good? Super easy? Cool. Once I save that, I'm going to come back in, and you're just going to, again, you already, it's pretty straightforward, but um, you're just going to install and then run it. So, going to make one more shot of espresso while we're waiting on that. Um, and then you're going to see here in a moment, we're going to get a local host address. Um, No, you'll just create a new one in that web folder. Cool. And then you can go ahead and run that follow-up command to install and then start. And so here we have localhost. Um, one thing to note is when you open this in your browser, if you're not in an incognito window, it's going to look for MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, any other wallet that you might be using. So uh, when I open this, I'm going to oops, uh, move that into, uh, I'm already in an incognito window. Great. No, I'm not. Let's see. Here we go. Great. And here we see that connect wallet button like we saw in the other example on smart-wallet.xyz. When I hit this connect wallet button, immediately it's going to prompt me again to create a smart wallet. So when I do that, I'm going to choose my Chrome profile and continue. And that's going to give me an address up here. So that's, uh, again, like simply using the Build on Chain Apps Toolkit you can actually create your own instance where you can start to build an app around, allowing people to just connect seamlessly to your site. Um, I'd highly recommend checking out the uh, GitHub for Build on Chain Apps. Uh, it is, it's like uh, Coinbase slash build dash on chain apps. And you can just see where like all kinds of features that uh, will be super helpful to you, specifically building on base, right out of the box. There's you know, being able to create your account uh, using Smart Wallet for their users.